know something very quickly. I am not having a good hair day and I am not having a good makeup day. In fact, I don't even know if I'm having a good like a confidence day. I gotta turn my camera on. I'm feeling like a little bit weird, um, but that's okay. Like that's fine. Totally normal. This happens. No, not PNG PNG tuber. Are you kidding? I'm playing N Walker. I need my face. Hello. Um, but like, it's. I'm just like I'm having. Yeah, I'm having a bit of a day. Um, my hair is so flat. Do you see this? My makeup. I accidentally smudged it. I had to rip off my eyelashes. Like. What it like what is happening here? Like what like what is going on here? What is this? So anyway, we're having a day. We're having a day. I still have to take my photos for Instagram and Twitter really quickly to say that I'm live, but I just wanted to, you know, preface the stream with I'm feeling weird. I'm feeling hella weird, but I am very excited to get back into Endwalker, and we're absolutely gonna talk about last week's Endwalker stream. Because I have so many feelings, I have so many emotions, and I still haven't fully processed them. And I'm still like kind of struggling to understand what the fuck I witnessed in the last stream. So we we got a lot of a lot of chit chat to go through before we start the stream. I'm not too sure how long today's stream is gonna be either because I'm feeling really weird. Um, but tomorrow's stream is going to be a big one. I'm hoping to start at 6 p.m. Eastern, if not the usual 7 p.m. Um, and we're probably going to go until 1 a.m. or something. It's going to be another very long Endwalker stream because KupoCon is next weekend and I need to be fucking caught up. So I will let y'all vibe for another like two minutes and then we will get started with the stream.
think I'm good. I have to do the tweet now. The insecurities are popping out, chat. Today's gonna be weird. Today's gonna be so weird, but I promise we're gonna have fun. I promise it's gonna be a good fucking stream, all right? trying once more. I've been live for almost 20 minutes and nothing has happened. This is crazy. All right. One more shot. We got one more shot. Of Oh my god, I did it. Oh my god, I did it. I took a photo that I don't completely hate. Slay! Oh my god, I'm so good at social media. good now i just have to tweet it slay slay hello friends i don't have x slash twitter that's okay that's fine i do you can support me on other platforms that don't include twitter uh my final fantasy and walker cry counter is slowly surpassing a hundred what the hell else could go wrong in 
this game. All right, bet. I tweeted. Oh my god. Okay, now I can. <gasps> my bra is poking out. That's totally fine. Okay. Hello. Yes. Hi, friends. Oh my god. Okay. Hello. 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 How's everybody? How are you all? Hello. I feel like I haven't been live in a very long time when in reality I was live on Monday. But like, I completely forgot about the Monday stream. I don't know why. I guess maybe it's because we didn't play Final Fantasy. We just like were just chatting for the entire time. Oh, hello friends. How are we all feeling? Drop an emote in the chat so I know who the heck to say hi to. Hello, hello, hello. My desk right now is so cluttered. Someone remind me to clean up. My desk needs a lot of TLC. It is, it is not looking good. It is not looking good. You know, like, you know the saying, like, happy life, or happy wife, happy life? Okay, now imagine that saying, but, like, the clean house version, okay? Like, when my home is clean, I'm happy. When my desk is clean, I'm a happy streamer. And alas, it is a fucking disaster. Bebop, thank you for the prime sub. And Dissatisfy, thank you for the 39 months. I appreciate it. Thank you both so much. Welcome to the cover of your badger must and your stay. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, Pro Sauce, hello. Hi, Dissatisfied. Hi, Davis. Hi, Kelsey. Hi, Juan. Hi, Mohammed. Hello. Hello, Pictures Fire. Thank you, Mango. Thank you, Dentist. It's nice to see you. Hello, Alec. Hello. Undagi, hi. Pernery, hello. Dory, it's nice to see you. Urban Serpent, hello, hello. Yes, the Monday stream Vin was very short. It was a little one. We were mostly talking about, um, like, the, the fucking uh, Pokemon cookie stuff and XQC and shit like that. Ashley, hello, clean house, clean mind. Yes, amen. Ashley, how are you? Joker, it's nice to see you. Hello, Jin. Hello, hello, Deadpool. I hope everyone is thriving. My hands are dry. I'm dry. I, my fingers ouchying. Everything is just poo poo. Everything is just kind of poo poo pee pee right now. But you know what? Like, that's okay. Hello, Soren. Hello, Ace. Hello. I look very nice today. Thank you. My boobs look great, actually. My boobs look fucking fantastic today. They look amazing i however i think i could have done better <gasps> dentist thank you for the 10 gifted subs thank you thank you thank you to everything i get to the sub welcome to the cover of your badge and your remotes and your stay thank you oh my god do we do we think we can hit 888 by the end of the week do you think we can hit 900 by the end of the week <gasps> cyber guy hello cyber hello it is a perfectly normal thursday we do not celebrate thanksgiving in this household because why would we well first of all we're canadian so we celebrate canadian thanksgiving but even then we don't actually celebrate it because this is stolen land what do we have to be thankful for huh i mean look i mean look i don't mind having a day of the year to think about my family and to be grateful for where i am and who is a part of my life you know all those little things well big things really but i think being patriotic on days like this are just what like what what do you have what, come on what do you have to be grateful for however i do i do support um all of you getting stuff like a turkey so Dude, I can't stop looking at my gray hair. Look at this. It is so prominent. Kiss the homies day. Jojo, hello. Friends giving slash hobbit day. Oh, I like hobbit day. I'm not celebrating American Thanksgiving, but I am forced to participate in family on occasion. Also paid time off and food are good. True. We do support paid time off. Gray hair adds texture. You're right, Pandora. I mean, I like my gray hair. It's just like I can't unsee it. Oh my God. So my Orchifal body pillow came in the mail. I need to stuff it. Um, this Emmett, by the way, is not stuffed with a body pillow. He is stuffed with two smaller pillows that I don't use. And I actually have two other body pillows that I don't, or uh, pillows that I don't use. And I'm wondering if Orshamont would fit in it nicely. I don't know. I'm gonna set him up tomorrow or tonight maybe. I don't have the energy to do that right now, but don't worry, Orshamont will make his grand appearance here too, okay? 
You love the white hairs so much you started having them? No, for real. I spent Thanksgiving going off alone today, but I watched movies just relax. Nice. Well, now you can spend the rest of it with us. Hello, Monopoly man. Oh, or strong will be stuffed indeed. I use Thanksgiving as my birthday celebration, so I don't actually celebrate it while I still spend the day with my family. Oh, that's a good, you know what, dentist? I like that. A little like delayed birthday celebration. I like that. Hold on, I saw Cheery in here. Cheery, hello! I saw a thing online where someone compared animal enclosures needing to be kept clean or else the animal is agitated and how our brains are the same. Cleaner spaces with a tiger in your head gets mad. You know what, Cheery? That is actually absolutely valid. And I, I you know what? Fair. Enclosures need to be clean for animals. So obviously our enclosures need to be clean as well. It only makes sense. Hope you're all good today. Monk, I am, I could be better. I could be better. I'm feeling a little bit weird, but like, that's okay. I'm, I'm good. I'm in a good place and I'm happy. And that's what matters presently. Hello. Have fun, sir. I'm going to be eating, but I'll come back and watch the crying. Thank you, Booth. Oh, no. Hello. 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 My grand, the one I look like a clone of, had pure white hair by early 40s. And I'm getting that I can't wait. Oh, honestly, I, if I start like actually graying and a lot of my hair turns white, I'm not kidding. I'm just going to blame Shadowbringers. This is Emmett's fault. This is Emmett's fault. This? That's because of Emmett. Emmett did this to me. <laughs> my gray hairs have never been so prominent up until like now, which I'm okay with. Oh, chat. Prediction? How much are we crying tonight? Well, we might only stream for about like another hour, maybe another hour and a half. So we'll see i might get one tear in i don't know i'm not sure we'll see how it goes corner break wait it's been half a year it has been half a year holy shit thank you for the six month resub i appreciate it thank you thank you thank you i gotta change that lighting um what was i gonna say oh chat okay so we have a few things to discuss here okay so first of all Show of hands, who here is going to KupoCon next weekend? I know I am. I know some of us in chat are. I'm very excited. So I am hosting the the post KupoCon Final Fantasy tribute party at Offworld with Vicky. Now, listen, I am so excited for this event. You want to know why? Because not only is it at, is it at Offworld, which is a fun bar that you know I've hosted multiple events at, but this time we have two very special guests coming okay I've got two guests coming that i am so excited to 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 host all right we got ben star okay the voice of clive from final fantasy 16 and the one the only thank red peter bramhill coming as well ah! i am so excited to be hosting this event and having them as our special guests. I cannot fucking wait. We got Dad Crid and we got Clive. We got titties. Will there be FF theme cosplays? Yes. So at the event, we're gonna be hosting <laughs> my turn. We're gonna be hosting um, a costume contest. There's gonna be triple triad, and we're gonna have a trivia showdown, according to Vicky. I think she's hosting that one. I am very excited it's gonna be a lot of fun it's gonna be a ton a ton 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 fun i have posted more information about it in the discord server and on twitter you can follow the links that i've added and the website will tell you more because i can't remember all of it off the top of my head because of how i am as a human being <laughs> but it's gonna be so much fun if you can't make it to KupaCon, it's only five dollars at the door for this event so if you're from toronto you should definitely come have a drink with me and go meet your favorite in-game Final Fantasy dads, because why not, right? Now, now that I've got that out of the way, please ask them to do an improv scene where Clive and Thancred compare muscles. I got you. I'll see what I can do. Um, but now that I've got that out of the way, can we fucking talk about Elpis? Like, can we please talk about Elpis? As excited as I am to have a drink with Ben Starr and Peter Bramhill, okay? Can we please talk about Elpis very quickly? Because what the fuck was that? What was that? I, 
I still, oh, hello, Mr. Happy Antoinville. Hello, hello. And hi, Jay, hello. I, I have a lot of feelings. But I don't even know how to dissect them. Loop Guru, thank you for the 44 month resale. Welcome back to the Mr. Mame. Like. That shit was sad. That shit was so fucking sad. And like. How sad is it? And like, I don't know if I'm like. I don't know if I'm like reading it incorrectly, but how sad is it that like Vana wanted to create a world full of like love and beauty and yada yada yada, but like obviously like that's impossible. And then she creates this world and her and her her children, us, the people of 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 Eorzea and what have you, are just like struggling. How real is that though? Like how real is that? I think about that shit all the time. Like like in real life, like like in reality it's like it's so sad that world peace is will never actually exist. Like that's not a thing. World peace is impossible to achieve. And that kills me. Just oh my god, I still I still haven't been able to like really sit down with my feelings with everything that happened in Elpis, but that was so much fun. It was such it was a roller coaster for sure. It was an absolute roller coaster and I enjoyed every second of it, even though I was crying a lot. It was really, really good. I, I don't know. I don't know. Like I, let me just fix my lipstick. <laughs> I don't know. Like, e like there needs to be balance. Everything need there needs to be balance in the world, but that is so difficult to attain. Oh man, and everything with Hermes. Oh my God, and Medion. I called it though. I called it. I fucking called it. I was, how many of y'all, how many of y'all were in awe of the way that I nailed the fucking plot though? Cause I was blown away. And when everything was unraveling, I was like, holy shit, I wish I was wrong. <laughs> oh my God, Gabby, hi, it's nice to see you. Welcome back. Oh my God, Gabby, you're gonna be at KupoCon, right? Gabby, I'm not sure if you heard, but we are hosting a post KupoCon party at Offworld, um, Offworld Bar on Sunday, December 3rd at 8 p.m. And we have two fantastic guests coming. One is Ben Starr and the other is Peter Bramhill. We're gonna have Thankard and Clive as our special guests at the party. So, should come through. Uh, did someone just tell me that I have great tits? They're right, I do. I got a DM after you told us your theory saying how, yo, how did she nail that? That's so funny. Did you actually? I'm proud of it. I'm so proud of myself. Like, the game is very predictable. The narrative is very, very predictable, but it's one of those things where it's like, I hope I'm wrong. I really hope they don't go that route. And then they go that route and then I start crying. <laughs> it's so good. You did well considering I was oblivious through Elpis. You were oblivious, really? I thought the I thought the story beats were so so like obvious. I wish I could stay longer, but I'm already so tired and have to wake up nine hours at four a.m. for work. I'm great stream. Can't wait for this next month to fly by with five days to of twelve eleven to twelve hours just by presently. Godspeed with your work. Did you like the breakdown of Hermes? Do you th did you think it made sense the breakdown of Hermes? The breakdown? What do, you, what do you mean the breakdown of Hermes? Writer brain is a mild superpower? It is. I think because I write a lot of fanfic, like I'm able to really like, it's very easy for me to like. It's the same thing with movies and stuff. I know what's coming before it even happens. It's predictable, but in a fulfilling, satisfying way. Yes, exactly. Hello, the man himself. Hello, hello. 
I couldn't wrap my mind around Dynamis. I understood Dynamis, but I didn't ex extrapolate and predict. I was just expecting things as they came. I don't think I still understand Dynamis. I'm gonna be real. Oh my god, I see a little gin. I see a little gin up in this corner. <laughs> and he's in his old hair. Incredible. Um, but yeah, I still don't fully grasp Dynamis, honestly. Are they gonna explain that more? I, I would assume they will. Hello, Z Troy. I remember that for me, as soon as they said Medion as an Entelechi can interact with the emotions of others, I started connecting the dots. It's so fun to see the trailer breadcrumbs, but you get to know uh, Medion and Hermes, and you wish it wasn't so, but you know you can't stop it. Yes, and I feel like I feel like that is what I love so much about about how about the predictability. Um, with this game because like I was saying it's like you don't want to be right and so when you're forced to watch it all unravel it hurts because you're like shit I can't do anything about this I just like this narrative is linear I just have to let it happen how Hermes became a madman learning about other stars about other stars couldn't survive because of their inhabitants would I would you say he became a madman I don't, I wouldn't say Hermes became a madman. I mean, I guess he did. He, I, I would say like, and I don't think he became a madman. I think he was just upset that no matter, like the, it's a, it's a, to parallel Hermes with Vinat, it's the same thing of like, I've created all these beautiful things, but for what? You know? For what? What was it all for? I'm creating life. I'm creating something so beautiful. I'm looking after these beautiful creatures, but I have to let some die, whether by my own hand or by the narrative. I think, I, yeah, I think it's another, like, th they're, they all parallel, you know, grief. Like, how, like, Emmett is, like, grief personified, basically, right? Um, so, I don't think Hermes became a madman to go at what Jay is saying. I think he's just a sad man. <laughs> I am very excited to see where this is all gonna go though. I honestly, I don't know what the hell to expect moving forward. Also, Jocko, hello, I see you in chat. I saw you earlier. Emmett did deserve better and I don't even wanna get started on Emmett. <clears throat> Shadowbringers, why would Emmett do so much murder? And Walker after meeting Hith, I would also do so much murder if I lost his Ladeus. Oh God, that, that one scene. Where it's, it's it's Hades or like Emmett and and Hith, and they're just they say their little like their last goodbye. That scene hurt, but you know why it hurt? It didn't hurt because it was like, oh my god, it hurt because they they look like they accepted it. Do you know what I mean? There was no fight. There was no struggle. They were just like, well, it's a great run. Oh my god, the game hasn't even started. Oh my god. <laughs> oh god. 81? Oh, honey, bunny. Honey, bunny, 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 bunny. We are way above 81. We are at, what are we at, chat? 88. We're at 88, y'all, okay? <laughs> Come on. I believe that Dynamis was explained as much as it gets since Hermes is basically leading the authority, the leading authority on what it is and how it works and energy like ether but cannot coexist with it which sends the intense emotions of linked things, right? Yeah, but I still don't understand it. Do you know what I mean? Like, the, the way that I am, the way that I understand Dynamis is fuck I, I i can't describe what i think dynamis is like how like, i don't know how to process it apart from the just the literal 
description for it or explanation. Hello, Fenris. Thank you. I'm glad that I'm making your day a little bit better. The implication from the Venostukans is that Hith volunteered to be sacrificed, really believing Hades would bring him home one day. Why did you say that? Why did you say that? I've been like thinking about it like a lot too. Like, not because like I'm an Emmett simp or anything. I mean, I am, but like not because of that. But you know how like how beautiful the storytelling is for him that it's since it's like backwards. Like you see him in his madness in Shadowbringers, and then at the end of it, you feel sad because you learn you understand him more. Like you just you learn about him more. But you don't see him like as himself until N Walker, and it's like, oh, I understand. Like, I get it. Oh, oh. that is good writing. That is some good fucking writing. And I'm gonna fight Yoshi P and everybody that worked on the team. Cause this is not fair. Like, what's her name? Ishikawa? Fuck you. Fuck you, man. You hurt me. You fucking like, hurt me. Man, I can't even, I can't even, like, have this conversation without crying. Like, this game sucks. <laughs> we can all blame her for a collective trauma. True. This all started. Well, I don't know how, how much she, how hands-on she was in Heaven's Ward, but I know she did the Dark Knight shit, and that fucked me up. Oh, I'm going to the next fan fest. The only reason I didn't go to fan fest this year is one, I was going to the Fall Out Boy concert, and then two, I didn't want any spoilers, so I purposely didn't go. But I'm going next year, and I'm gonna fight everybody. I'm gonna get kicked out. I'm gonna get sent to jail. But it's gonna be so worth it. It's gonna be so worth it. Hello, Brett. They had the audacity to give Hades white hair. I know. <laughs> the one thing, the one thing that like kept me in check. How do you think, how do you think Pepper felt when she saw Hades? Do you think like when she, When she saw, you know, like, white-haired Emma, do you think she went, off? Oh, fuck. <laughs> Community bail Syra out of jail at Fat Fats. <laughs> Does Pepper have a thing for white hair? I do. I still don't know, like, what Pepper's stance is uh, in terms of, like, Emmett and, and all that. Like, I, I mean, I think I know. I think I know. I, I've explained what I think to y'all, but I, I just, I don't know. I think Pepper has deep love for him but not in a romantic way she helped he helped her process her grief and whatnot but i don't know there's something there you know his roots are visible i wonder if he's always purple or if he does all the pla the pastel colors listen all i can say is i love it i love it when a bitch is dedicated to a certain color okay branding let me adjust my light here. 
Actually, wait. Chat. I need to make everything red again. I need to make this room red. Are we ready? <laughs> Are we ready? Pepper's homies with Hith right away, though. Oh, yeah. Pepper, Hith, and Hermes. I think... Oh, I... Man, I have a crush on Hermes. I don't know. Pepper... Oh, I feel like Pepper would. I feel like Pepper would like Hermes. And then she's like, oh, fuck. Fucking rat. <laughs> All right, let's change this. Because we got to get nice and red. Oh, yeah. There we go. Oh, I got to change that, too. Are y'all ready to hop back into Endwalker, by the way? Who's ready? Are we good? Is everybody ready? I'm also still not fully understanding, like, the Asm stuff. <gasps> Good night, dentist! Bye-bye! Like, I think I understand it. Like, Asm is a role. Asm is a role that is part of the convocation. But, and Vana was Azem or Azem, Azem, Azem before. But like, who's Azem now? Because do I remind Hith and Hades of Vana or do I remind them of whoever Azem is now? I don't know. I guess like if I keep playing, um, I'll figure it out. Yes, smile better suits a spoiler, bitch. Oh, how did you enjoy Wake Up Emmett? I started crying immediately. I started crying immediately. Chat, let me show y'all this video. I'm sure most of you have seen it. Um, cause I mean, y'all are way fucking ahead of me. But, um, Jay sent me this video after we completed Emmett. And I've never in my whole life wanted to, like, punch someone so bad before. And I always want to punch him. I always want to punch Jay. But, like, this? This? Mm. Here. I hope my cam doesn't, like, block anything. Like, like, that is so fucking sad. <gasps> we haven't even started the game and I've cried three times. We haven't even started playing and walking and in a party crying three times. I'm so And all the years he lived without them. <laughs> like, I really need to replay Shadowbringers because, like, I, with the knowledge of, like, and, like, of what I know, at least, like, for now with N Walker, like, I really want to replay Shadowbringers and see how many things, like, I can pick up on. I did get punched. I did get punched in the views. <sighs> Emmett acts like everything bothers him, but he's willing to sacrifice everything to get it back. And that is beauty. You, like, that's what... Like, I love characters like that. Like, Solas from Dragon Age as well. Oh, my God. <laughs> Crazy. It's so bad. And also, Amerido. 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 Did I pronounce that correctly? Thank you for gifting five community subs. I really, really, really appreciate it. Thank you so much. I really like I gifted a sub. Welcome to the coven. I hope you enjoy your... What is my shtick again? I forgot my own copy pasta. Welcome to Covenant with your bedroom once and your stay. Boom. Got it. Thank you. Got it. <laughs> your badge, your remotes, and your stay. Oh my god, yeah, no, I got my memory shwoinked. I forgot my own spiel, but we got there, okay? We got there. Hoo-wee! 
don't know what's happening here, but this seems like a time. Hello, Kyoka. Wait, yeah, we're we just finished Elpis. And I am not well. I am not well. Get comfy, get cozy. We're about to get back into Endwalker, and I'm very excited and very nervous. And that's hello. This is what happens when we're three cries deep in the last 20 minutes. This is so bad. This doesn't count, right? This doesn't get added to the cry counter, right, chat? You're not going to bully me into adding it, right? I'm good, right? I'm safe, right? <laughs> oh, that was so loud. How's the audio, chat? Is the game on screen? See, if the game isn't on screen, it doesn't fucking count. See? <laughs> All right, chat. <coughs> my hands are so dry. I don't even know where my my cream is. Oh my goodness. My, all right, we're good. All right. How is the audio chat? Are we okay? Is it too quiet? Is it too loud? Are we good? Are we chill? Are we Gucci? In the coochie. It should count, but it's technically aftershocks from Elphus and I, so we'll let it slide. Thank you. All right, slay. Hello, Leo. Hello, friends. Hello, friendos. Music's a bit loud. Okay. How about now? Gestalto, thank you for the prom sub. Welcome to Cover Your Badge and your stay. Thank you. All right, alerts are now muted, but feel free to spam the fuck out of me with subs because I love money. All right. Let's let's do this. It's time. All right, here we go. Okay, I have to return to Charlian. Oh man, I don't know what's coming. I don't know what's coming. All I know is we are on as the Heavens Burn. I believe is what the name of the quest is called. Um, and the image for it was my sweet baby Alize with the world on fire behind her and I'm fucking horrifying. How is it already almost an hour? I couldn't tell you. Well, we spent like the first 20 minutes of the stream screaming because like I couldn't take a selfie, but wait, the person ran right into me. I was like, what the hell? Could you imagine if you couldn't like walk through people? Like imagine if like that wasn't the thing. I just had to like, like, if there was a line in this game, there would be actual traffic. That'd be so funny. I need to tell the signs about my fresh new trauma. True. How did you get here so quickly? How did you get here so fucking fast? Unheard of. All right. Let's go. Line up to order at the Amarant McDonald's. Oh my god, that was so fucking funny. That was so funny. I need to turn that into a... um into like a TikTok or something. How was the first lies on the floor sobbing? Oh my God, literally. How did, how did everyone else's um, um, warrior of lights react when they returned to the first? I think Pepper sobbed. I feel like Pepper has done a good job at not crying but it gets to her she's i think she's kind of the opposite of me like my dragon age character rayanera is always crying that bitch is always fucking crying i think maybe the first time pepper or pepper cries when orshifon dies um but i think like it's more of a shock thing and the first time she really cries over it like really cries i think is after she defeats thordan I think it's one of those moments where, you know, like, she's like in a moment of silence and then it hits her. Like, wow, I did it. You know, I did it. Um, or maybe just Zephyr. Maybe just when Zephyr spawns. Hello, Nissan. And then I think the next time Pepper cries, maybe is a, is a moment between the moment between her and Ardbert when he like when she like grabs his hand or whatever right like if you could take one more step or whatever the fuck and then I think maybe returning here has a good private cry session in the tower oh hell yeah 
No time for emotion. I have to convey the news. Oh, I like that. Oh, my bun cried a lot and went back to the source via his friend's house to cry some more. Oh. I think my dude returned angry and determined, knowing the nature of the problem now and ready to act save his sister when it was done. I like that too. I like I like the idea that some of y'all were like, there is literally no time to cry. I have to solve this. I have to fix this. And then I can breathe and let it all out. Then I can let my emotions like process. L, hello! I can't make it because of Criterion Pro, but I might hang out later. Bye, L! I don't know how late I'm gonna be live. Um, I might only stream for another hour, maybe two. But we'll see. We'll see. Tomorrow is going to be the long stream. I'm going to be streaming hopefully at 6 p.m. If not 6, then 7. But we're going to go until about 1 a.m. It's going to be a really big stream tomorrow. Zara, could you show me some content? I've never seen real fighting. Like in game? Like FF14 fighting? Yeah, I mean, I'm sure. I'm sure we'll get a dungeon in a second. So I'll show you some content ASAP. I will be there for the big stream. Yay! Y'all better be here tomorrow. Y'all better be here because we are going to slowly start burning through Endwalker. We are going to finish this fucking game. I need to finish Endwalker. By, by next Thursday. Do y'all think we can do it? I think I can. All right, ready? All right, let's just chat with Kryl. Let's see what she's up to. As the heavens burn. <laughs> Wait. Oh, I see snow. Oh my god. I see snow. Oh my god, is this. Are we in Kurthus? No. No. I swear to god. I swear to god. I swear to god. We had just started. We just started playing. We t okay. Pra ba 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 <laughs> Though you and Kral both have news to share, hers perhaps the more urgent. Yeah, I mean, I'm seeing my baby girl in a, in, a, in in probably Kurthus. I'm not. I don't like this. I don't like this, Kral. You better actually have good news. This better be good news. There better not be anything happening to my French people in Alize, Okay. So, have you learned? Oh, move. Fine. How does fucking Kral sound again? Uh, oh shit! Fuck bullshit. Ah, uh, fuck me. Oh shit. My controller! Ah! No! My controller died! Then the, I can't! Ah! 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 I don't know what I fucking pressed. But I got what I needed. You know, chat, I kept telling y'all to remind me to get a new cable, and no one has reminded me to get a new cable. <laughs> Alright. Um, so she said something. Let me see. What did she say? Fuck. So, have you learned oh, more of the final days? And then Peppa went, mm. Okay. We're good. We got this. The journey was well worth the risk. No doubt your newfound knowledge will be a great boon to us all. Unfortunately, during your time on the first, events here have taken a turn for the worst. The Scions are running themselves ragged trying to contain the spread of blasphemies, but it's a losing battle. To try and ascertain the where and why of it, Alize and Alfino have been traveling all over. Of all the regions they've visited, Locus Aminas is the one wor of the worst affected, is one of the worst affected. Thancred, Estenian, and Graha took a detachment of allied soldiers there to offer aid and succor to those in need. But the province is vast! They only managed to visit a handful of coastal villages. It was an accomplishment worth celebrating still, but a drop in the bucket at best. In the meantime, Ishtola and Master Matoya have been making a con con concerted effort to establish contact with Hydaelyn in the Ethereal Sea. Oh. Ah! But to no avail. As for Tataru and I, we've been keeping a close eye on the forum. From what we gather, they've been constructing a vessel to ferry people to the moon, an ambitious project that has, been, has likely been years, if not decades, in the making. However, since we've no sign of it thus far, I suspect it's still incomplete. You will also recall the proposal issued by Master Forshano for 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 to the people of Rad's Han. Following their discussion, Vitra declared his support for the plan and urged those who wished to evacuate to accept the forum's invitation. So far, so good, but that's where things get a little strange. 
Apparently, the forum caught wind of the lunar teleporter in the Tower of Babel and decided to use it to deliver people to the moon instead of the mysterious ship. Therefore, to secure safe passage for the harnessed refugees to the tower, Alfino, Alize, Estinian, and Graha travel to Gar- Oh, Garlemald! Woo! Okay, I'll take that instead. <laughs> Trouble is, the capital was hardly the safest place to begin with, and now- Oh, fuck. Ah! The final days have come to Garlemald. No! No! Shortly after our friends arrived, they were sent to rendezvous with Master Fortuno. Then panic broke out, and our communications were severed. From what fragments we were able to make out before the link shell went completely silent, we can only assume the phenomenon has spread to the capital. What? God, this music is so fucking good. Uh, how's the, uh, uh, the audio, by the way? Is it a little too loud, or are we, like, cooking? Are we good? The others need you, Pepper. Please, you must help them. <laughs> Let's go, bitch. Having you there will make all the difference. I'm sure of it. Camp Broken Glass was their first port of call, so you'd best start there. Hopefully Lucia will know where they are. Mother! There's no telling what you'll be walking into, so you'd best take every possible precaution. Chat, I'm scared. I'm not looking forward to this. I'm not looking forward to this. Am I gonna lose more NPCs? If anything, if anything happens to Alize, I will be no better than Emmett. I will be no better than Emmett. When the ah hits, I know, man. It goes crazy, it goes so hard, and for what? Also, we are currently in an ad break. Can we get a command ads real quick? Thank you so much for being a sub and supporting my stream. If you can still see this, thank you, thank you, thank you. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Appreciate all my subs. All 849 of you. Do you think we can get 888 though? Oh my god. Okay. All right. Where are we going? Oh, Il Sabad. Is 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 Il Sabad? Il kind of bad. It's so crazy how Final Fantasy XIV players are so passionate with the game. As a WoW player, my heart is full to see people enjoy a game this much. Aww. Yeah, I mean, I think that's also what I love so much about this game. I've never seen a, a community this passionate about the game that they play. You know, most people are like, oh, I, I hate my, I hate the game that I play. I'm obsessed with it, but I hate it. Bleh. I don't, I don't really know anyone that plays FF14 that actually hates FF14. And you know what? That's how it should be. I fucking love this game. And I'm glad to be surrounded by other people that love it too. Also... Fuck. We're definitely getting a dungeon. Is it bad that I think the final days looks dope as shit? Like, look how cool this is. Oh! Oh, we're not just getting... Oh, no, no, no. Oh, bitch. We're not getting a dungeon. We're getting a motherfucking duty thingy majiggy. Beebity boobity. Hibbity beebity boobity. Pepper, and not a moment too soon. The skies of Golemold are ablaze, but it's events on the ground that concern me. As you will have heard, your fellow scions arrived ahead of you. We cut the customary greetings short after we received word from our troops of the, on the magma glaciers that the forum's airship had landed. It was then that the heavens began to burn. I dispatched your friends at once to ensure the refugees came to no harm. I would have you join them immediately. Additional support is on route. A route. We will discuss them later. I just you ready to depart? What do you mean by that? What do you mean by upon departing for the Magna Glaciers, several cutscenes will play in sequence? What do you mean by that? What do you mean by that? I see. In addition, you'll be required to participate in battle. Your progress will be saved at certain points. Oh my god. Who am I going to be playing as? Please know that if you enter battle associated with other quests or log out from the game, this progress will be lost. Okay. Um. <laughs> I don't 
don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what's happening. Elia on the Magna Glaciers. All right, chat, you gonna sing with me? You gonna belt it out with me? Here in this blasted waste. Daddy, please look see Calm me. yourselves. Your panic is our greatest enemy. Come, we must build a line of defense. Oh boy. Is that one of your kids? Yeah! Fighting to us, Father. You must lead the people son! to safety. My son! My son! Now that is a lance that I would like to have a dance with. I can handle this pair. You? Shall tend to the refugees. Let us be about it. Oh my god, who am I gonna play as one of them? God, I love them, I love them, I love them. My, my sweet, my as sweet little wish, boys. My little, my little lord, I'm gonna be beep boo boo. Am I playing as Alvin? I think I'm playing as Alvin. Okay, okay. Oh fuck. I forgot how to play Sage. Okay, hold on, wait. Is it hand? Do you have Le Leviatosis? Damn! Over time, that's your dog. Okay, 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 okay. Well, alright. Oh shit, the Savnarian one. Oh my god, you're so low. Wait, which is which? That's all nearby? Okay. Okay, and that one gives a barrier. Okay. Lit. No, you're not done for, I promise. Leave it to me. Oh, the city! Thank you. Hello? I'd like to click you. Okay, he's taking them. Okay. <laughs> Wait, no, don't turn. No, no, no. Oh, no. Oh, that sucks. Oh, wait. Ah. There go off. Okay, go off. Those who can stand, come with me. Wait a second. What is this one? All nearby. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Ah, Rosie, I don't want to heal you. How's the, how's the audio, by the way? Are we good? Sorry, I just I gotta double check. Oh, oh. Oh, that was for myself. Wait, I can't do anything. Oh, I have to touch you. You're I have safe to touch now. you. I'm sorry. Oh, wow. Wow. You're safe, chat. You're safe now. <laughs> Go! I'm coming! Don't turn! Easy now. Deep breaths. Come on, chat. Easy now. Deep breaths. All right, Slay, let's go, Alfie, now! Why You're so good at this! But for yourself. Um, Father, you could, you know, help us, too. You know that, right? Like, 
You could have definitely done something here. Oh, damn. Look at the Sinian go. Oh, shit. Oh, are we gonna be fighting this big thing now? Oh, yeah. Yeah, you use that ability. You take the lead. Oh, provide some more. My boy! Oh god. Okay, so it's the barrier doesn't stack. Oh, fun. Abilities are good enough. What am I? What am I doing? Oh dear fucking Christ! You're good. We're good. Everything. Everything here is fine. Everything here is fine. Everything here is absolutely fine. Everything here is absolutely fine. What could possibly go wrong here? What could possibly go wrong here? Oh my God! I'm fine. We're fine. I'm okay. I'm good. I'm good. I'm gonna be fine. I'm gonna be fine. And Sandy is also gonna be fine. We're all good. Everything is okay. Everything is fine. What could possibly go wrong here? Nothing. Thank you for the sub. saying by the gods what happened but not hard enough. okay i think i understand astidian fuckers now like i get it is that oh i think we got it nice look at us oh look at me and my big bro Why is she kind of, why is she kind of, she kind of slimy, kind of zesty. Wood. Absolutely wood. I'd do his makeup. Oh. Help! Someone please! What? Yo! Look at that eyeball! Oh, oh, you fucked. Oh, she, oh. Oi! She didn't get smooshed. She bought it though. No, 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 no. Don't. Oh. I don't want to die. Oh, I'm so sorry. It's for the narrative. Oh, never mind. You're good. Forward. Let not a single fiend escape. Say, like Ulysses. But I thought he turned. Wait, that's. Eulis and the army. So, you've recovered then. Slay! In time enough to be of aid. Yes! Oh my goodness. Yes. I love this for we him. Can speak I of it love this later. for him. For now, we must fight. To repay your salvation in kind. Or with better... For Garlemald has her pride! Oh, we got this dinky ass music going on. Hello? Of that I've no doubt. Boop 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 boop. Beep boop beep boop boop. Beep 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 boop. The way Estinian runs. The gods. Of all possible saviors, the Imperial Army. Hey, we take what we can get. 
esto? My babies! My wife! My child! I had hoped to take all of them down at once. Oh my god, do I play as her now? With Graha by her withdrawal side? Might be in order. Oh, sod that. You know who would never abandon these people to their fate. To be devoured by their former friends. That'd be beyond cruel. These beasts must fall here and now. Well then, I'd say it's high time we threw like, caution to the wind. Why? So long as you spare me the heroic sacrifices. Now, let's go. I feel like it ruins the vibe of everything that's going on here. All right, here we go. Let's play as my sweet baby with my wife in tow. Whee! All right, what do we have here? All right, we got some French shit. Oh fuck, combos. Okay, sick, sick, sick. All right, let's fucking go. All right, cool. Oh, no, 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 no. Actually, I did not want to do that. Like! Hey, I did not mean to target you. That's okay, though, I guess. Yo, look at all these bulbies! Is there no way to break the chain of transformation? Holy, look at all these boobaloobies. I take them down so fast though. That's my queen! That's my queen! Wait, I saw ley lines. Is Grahati a black mage? Him and Emmett? Yo, I got a thing, eh? <laughs> Save me! I'm back! Uh, run! Ooh, yo! Hey, he's frozen. This one's not like the rest, but we got this. We'll be fine. Don't you worry about me. Yeah, see, she's fine! Don't worry about my baby girl. She knows what she's doing. Yo, we got LB here though. Are we gonna be able to use it? Am I gonna get to use it? Red Mage LB? I've never done it before. What's on a rain of meteors? our chance to what our chance to what what's our chance for oh my god i'm not done yet i feel like i missed something critical Don't worry about it. The air crackles with energy. 
Find cover. I have found my cover. Million pledge. Oh, Let's see, what does it look like? Oh, 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 you're so cool. You're so cool. Yo, she's still doing it. Oh, she, oh, damn. Damn. Come on. Pop off. Beep boop, beep beep. Beep boop, beep beep. Thank God the beep boop is over. So much red. Not the barest trace of ether. Maybe there really is no way to bring them back. Hmm. Thank you for saving our lives once again. Oh, with all the dead bodies around them? Oh, I cannot. I remember you from Purusha. You helped us there too, didn't you? From Purusha. Ah, oh, you're from Palaka Stand. I'm glad you're still in one piece. She's about oh, to be in two. Be, once I see to that injury of yours. What is it? Vercure? Vercure? Look out! Oh, nah, nah, no, no. Bad game. No! Get out of here. Quickly. That's my wife. That's my fucking wife. That is my wife. I won't lose them. Not a one. Uh -huh. This will be a brighter future. I uh -huh. won't. Let a madman's apocalypse ruin everything we've fought to achieve! He's not gonna go through this shit again! That's my wife! Never been Get so proud to be someone's wife. You're embarrassing yourself! And in front of father, no less. You might never measure up to our channel. Oh, girl. But we ask too much of her as it is. You mustn't let our sword in the darkness fight alone. why you should never skip your squat regimen. Okay, we're going with the last one. We are absolutely going with the last one. How am I supposed to get anything done in this game when the music goes so hard? <laughs> How am I supposed to play when all I want to do is wiggle? <laughs> oh, God. That last one is definitely a callback to Orshifa. Oh my god. Oh my god. With the shirtless men doing their squats? Orshifa and his naked boys? <laughs> That's my man. That's my man. That's my man with him naked boys. <laughs> I 
forgot about the naked men Orshma had in his office. How could you forget? It's one of the first things I saw in Heaven's Word. I was like, oh. Also worth noting, Emanaline kept the shirtless squatty boys a family tradition. I will say, um, when I read the uh, Eorzean Encyclopedia, like the big book, um, it does say that Orshifon did used to train shirtless. I, I, it's a, it's a, it's an Ellison thing, maybe. It's a, it's an Ishgardian thing. I don't know, but hey, keep up your squats, baby. Ugh. you know what? Maybe that's why Pepper has such thick thighs. Do you think Orshifon got her to do squats on? No, that's, mm. that's not. That's not what I meant. That is, that is not. That is not. Don't finish that sentence. You know, I might. I think I might. <laughs> I'm just gonna. 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 I'm just gonna dance over here. <laughs> All right, this is precisely why you should never skip your squat regimen. Oh, the thunder, the lightning. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. I can look after myself, you know. But I've had enough of it. Oh. That's the trailer line. That was the trailer line. Everything's in order? I trust. Yes, my wife. Me, my wife, and my, and our daughter. My babies. My baby poo-poo. Let's go, Pepper! This yes! She said the thing! She said the thing! <laughs> oh. 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 Let's go. Oh, amen. Amen, King. Sound like this? Oh my god! I have a fat fucking shit to take! With me! Pepper, give me a stool! It's not coming out! <laughs> hey bro, I got you. <laughs> I'm not bad. <laughs> Come and watch your step. Okay. Oh my god, it's the five of us! Oh! I love them all so much! Oh! Could you imagine if Orshavon was Hurt us. 
believe in you. Help me out. Depressed? Yo, me too. Oh, God. I'm in here. That was fun. Oh, that was fun. I like it. I liked it. Clip, clip, clip. Clippity, clippity, clip. Clip, clip, clip. Now we wait for a dramatic cutscene. Oh, me, 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 me. Without delay, the ship will depart ere long. Your offer to host us in Charlian is most appreciated, but will the final days not soon fall upon it as well? Your hesitation is not unwarranted. The satrap entrusted me with your lives, yet I have failed your comrades. Nor are you wrong to fear that this corruption will continue to spread. I cannot promise you complete safety, even in my homeland. What I can promise is that I will do all in my power to protect you. That power is not inconsiderable. Even now, my countrymen are preparing the vessel that will deliver us to a sanctuary on the moon. Join us on our journey there and beyond to new horizons. Come to old Charlian, please. We would be fools to refuse such a generous offer made in earnest. I did not expect her to sound like that. I thought she'd sound more childlike. <laughs> it seems they've a new destination. The people of Radzat Han have known too much suffering. The march to Garlemald will only bring them more, short though it may be. I quite agree. Fortunately, they have you to look after them. Yes. Well. Behind you! Just there! What? What you see, Eulis? Uh, those guys are kind of... More of them. Hear me out. Hear me out. Hear me out. Damn. Ashley Tisdale! Xenos. Here. <laughs> You'll be all right. Hurry to the airship. Ashley Tisdale? Ashley Tisdale? Oh my fucking god. Yo, it's a high school musical reunion. Fuck. 
Why have you come? A heretofore unseen beast. Twas ripe for the slaying. Poor sport, alas. Unfit to temper my blade. Oh, for the love of... You cannot still be on about a rematch. That is and has ever been my sole concern. You, on the other hand, are fixated on a different quarry. Your passion pales before mine, yet neither hate nor despair seem sufficient to recapture your misdirected bloodlust. All right. So I hone my blade and I wait. That's it. That's all you care about. Garlemald is in ruins. Our homeland, the nation you rule, is as good as gone. Along with so many of its people. Not just soldiers like us. Not only those who fought and killed for power and duty. Innocent civilians. Murdered by their own flesh and blood. Lost and confused as they breathed their last. While we who survived with our lives and minds intact were left to freeze to death. The Eorzeans tell me all this was your doing! You slaughtered your countrymen! You did! For what? For nothing in the end. So much wasted effort. You... You bastard! For your own sake, Eulus, you must control your anger. It will serve no one should it consume you and see you transformed. <laughs> Would you be happier had I a good reason? What? If my motives met with your approval, would you no longer resent the outcome? If so, then perhaps a beast's skin would suit you better. Duty, honor, morality. All constructs of convenience when put to proof. Surely the war taught you how easily power becomes the tool of the self-righteous. How the people's justice was merely a means to their ends? Yet you would ask me why. Ask any creature of this star and those above for answers. And they will tell you what suits them. He's kind of spitting, but I don't want to admit that. And they would be right to do so. What meaning there is to be found in the petty vicissitudes of your existence must be gleaned by you and you alone. Should you seek it in battle in the fruitless pursuit of my demise, then come. Assume your rightful place as a notch on my blade. Damn! Don't do it, bro. It is not worth it. 
Ashley Tisdale is not you worth it. Are a blight on the Galleon race. And there would be no more satisfying way to expunge it than by beating you to death. But I will not be party to another tragedy. I refuse to lose anyone else because of you. So go. Go! And may we never suffer your madness again! Xenos! Like how we're all just like interviewing him. Perhaps you found meaning in living this way. I cannot deny you found strength. Yet if you only pursue your hedonistic pleasures and pay no heed to the plight of others, then no one will give you the time of day. D. You will never get what you want. Not even the battle you pine for so dearly. T. You'll be alone for an eternity, and you'll deserve every agonizing second of it. Alize, I raised you right. He doesn't even have a comeback. He's like, yeah. Y yeah, well, fuck you too. Poppy's coming with the thigh boots. Mm -mm. We're ready to depart. The refugee ships will be leaving shortly, but I've asked mine to remain for the time being. There's room enough for you to join me on it, if you wish. Do contain your surprise. I needn't agree with the Scion's methods or intentions to acknowledge that their deeds are deserving of gratitude. We appreciate the offer. But might I ask why you are delaying your departure? I presume it is not solely for our benefit. I must visit Garlemald ere we return to Charlion. Having caused such an uproar, it is only meet that I explain myself to the Ilzabad contingent. Allow us to accompany you then. We should be glad to facilitate, given our familiarity with all concerned. If you would like to join as well, Eulus, we can speak of recent events on the way. Stinian gonna scold him? He'll be after your seat on the forum next. <laughs> That's a proud big brother right there. I have so many feelings. I have so many feelings right now. I feel like I've been saying that a ton today, but I do. All right, wow, that was dramatic. I wonder what role Xenos is actually gonna play by the end, like in this narrative, by the end of it all. I'm very intrigued to see where this all, where this all goes. Yeah, no, the di the writing in that scene was top notch. The soliloquies, fan fucking fantastic, fan fucking fantastic. <laughs> 
Pokemon is Sharpay, of course. I have so many feelings, this is the Endwalker tagline. <laughs> Man of the Mist, hello, Johnny, hi, hi, hi. Emmy, hey, and Traded, hello, and Est, hello, hello. Sorry that I didn't get to say hi to you. Hello, 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 hello. You wouldn't believe us if we told you. Your owner probably wouldn't. Oh man, he opens a tea shop. You know what? I support that. Hi, Estinian. You could have saved them all, but if we'd arrived any later, it would have been a massacre. Things looking bleak until you and the first turned up. Nice. There'll be time to discuss your journey to the first, but there's one thing I must ask. Only for chance to speak with our friends in the Crystarium. Lena and Becklog both warned me against overexerting myself. It's strange that they would express such similar sentiments. Identical, in fact. But their advice is duly noted. What's up, Lucia? At the very least, I'm glad our own members are accounted for. What's up, Poppy? This is the contingent base of operations, I take it. Alright, what's up, Eulis? It's been a while since we last spoke. For some time I was not myself. Lucia and the others told me what happened that happened that night and about the events that took place while I was receiving treatment. It's only then that I realized the lengths you and yours go to. I know I might never be able to repay you, but I'll be damned if I don't try. <laughs> we're just like, we're just good people. We're just such good people. And most of all, I want to thank you, all of you, for everything you've done and continue to do for the sake of my people. Speak to my son, but the final day should manifest here too, after everything those people have suffered. This is like cruel beyond words. Nevertheless, with allies old and new at our side, there is yet reason to be hopeful. All right, time to talk to my baby girl. I don't know where this is gonna go. Okay, so we're finishing as the heavens burn, but I don't know. So we're gonna go with Lord Fulchino, I guess. Where's it gonna go from there? Fuck. I'm so nervous, chat. To see Zeno standing there, so uncaring and unrepentant. Repentant. Gods, I don't know what came over me. I just blurted out the first thing that came to mind. But looking back on it, I stand by those words. It would say I hope they won't incite him to further villainy, but to be honest, I doubt he even remembers what I said. Anyway, enough about all that. It's good to see you again. It's good to see you too, my sweet. God. Can't believe we're on the level 88 quest now. Can you fucking believe that, chat? We have made such wild progress. We still need to quiz you about your time on the first if we ever get more than a moment of spike. Who am I talking to? Oh, Lucia. Lucia's taking stock of the present situation. Mm, good to go insane. I think after this, we're gonna hop off chat. No major injuries then. Good. I briefed the recovered soldiers and sent them on their way as quickly as I could, but nevertheless feared they would not make it in time. The additional support was invaluable. Your men saved more than a few lives. Though not all, I regret to say. Well, we save those that we can. I take it that I am addressing Lucia Junius. I am the Forum's envoy, Fortuno Leveilleur. And you are owed an explanation for these most dire developments. Another trial wrought by the final days. I was beginning to suspect as much. You doubtless feel some consternation having been forced to abandon your original plan. But trust me when I say you were right to send the refugees elsewhere. Beasts have been sighted within the capital. Perhaps it was a stroke of grim fortune that the population was decimated beforehand as they've yet to appear in any great number, but in time. In any case, Maxima leads the remainder of the contingent in an effort to cull the creatures and evacuate the populace as we speak. 
Once the airships have taken to the skies, I pray your men can be persuaded to join him. You'll permit us to retain our weapons? I wouldn't have sent you after the Scions were I expecting you to stab them in the back. And I, for one, would not consider past transgressions more relevant than future contributions. Mm -hmm. Regardless of the circumstances that saw us at odds before, we need men of courage now, more than ever. He looks so dumbfounded. We swore to defend Garlemald, and so we shall. It seems you have everything under control. You will excuse me then, for mine own duties await. A moment, Master Fortuno. You did desire to express your appreciation for services rendered, did you not? I did. Though if you intend to again ask that Charlian alter its course, you will find my gratitude insufficient. It is nothing so onerous. I wish to hear the details of this grand endeavor of yours. Do you swear to listen and to learn, and not to embark upon some scheme to impede us? I swear. other I would doubt, but you I trust to keep your word, for not once have you broken it. Very well. I will request that the Forum make you privy to our plans. You may await our summons at the Baldessian Annex, assuming the decision is in your favor. Does that suffice? It does. You have my thanks. Excellent. You can regale us with tales of your most recent sojourn to the first while we wait. Oh boy. Oh, enjoy this trauma dump. <laughs> Did you hear something just now? How did you get here? Second of all, pudding? Pudding way? Where, oh, where is this star's blasted pudding? Oh. My. Um. Oh. My. Oh my god. Dawn may banish. Orionze, you're night. back! And to this bitter climb bring warmth and comfort. And this is how you make your appearance? It is heartening to see the, such an assembly the thunder. upon my return. I thought often of you whilst I looked down upon our star's brilliance from the moon above. Yes, but what are you doing here? I'm dressed like that. Aren't you cold? Girl, you're in booty shorts. You don't want to talk. Verily. 
I fear for my health should I proceed to expound upon our purpose ere I procure oh my more God, suitable he's shivering. Oh my God! Then allow me to summarize. We're here because none of you lot are up there. Nor has anyone deigned to send word about any changes in the plans. It's food, is what it is. At least that's what I thought at first, but then folks got to wondering if you weren't in a spot of bother, so we decided to take matters into our own hands. Come down here and help, if our help be needed. So she says, but it's also something of a convenient excuse to visit a parish. <laughs> Uriange made it sound absolutely <laughs> marvellous. More so before the impending doom, <laughs> but still. The impending doom. <laughs> and it's not like there will ever be a better time. What with the aforementioned doom? <laughs> Marvellous, they say, yet not an ounce of pudding to be found. Oh. I must suffer Arianje's inferior works no more. Me! She's a fucking mood. Where's my hey, pudding? Maybe consider the plight of present company before you go blathering on about pudding and doom? But I want pudding too. I'm with her. I'm on her side. Ahem. As I was saying, should you require any assistance with whatever, we are at your disposal. Thank you, Living Way. <laughs> we were born from Heidelin's love for the lives of this star. So naturally, we would much prefer to see them continue. Twiddling our thumbs up on the moon is hardly conducive to that, though, is it? Aye. Not when you've all got such precious thoughts and feelings and hopes for the future deserving of more active preservation. Speaking to Oriange made us realize that while we've carried out our duties to the letter, we failed to fulfill them in spirit. But from there, it was just a hop, skip, and a jump towards resolving to do better. So please, show us how. Help us help you. They really came to say hello before our world went Forgive me. Peach. But are they? Kaploot. Thy distant collaborators, indeed. Hey, old fellow. Well met. You'd be a member of the forum, would you? It's an honor and a pleasure to meet you at last. Oh. I'm Living Way, Hydlin's right paw. That last bit is very important. As am I, if I may humbly say so myself. I uh, bid you welcome to our star, Living Way. On behalf of the Forum, <laughs> I thank you for traveling such a distance to meet us. <laughs> as you have surmised, preparations for the Exodus have not proceeded as smoothly as we had hoped. I should be happy to personally escort you to our headquarters in Charlian, where you may way. advise us as you deem Achoo. fit. I'm sneezing way. Oh my god, putting way in the back! Twas with reluctance that I set aside the great work of readying the moon for habitation. Be assured that I did so only after the Loperids made plain their earnest desire to come hither. And I myself felt a growing certainty that their contributions here would prove invaluable. Tis trite, perhaps, but I followed my heart. Oh, Rianche. Good to have with you back. <laughs> Good to have with you back. May thy disciples banish this darkest of nights. I want to go with the second one. I I like the second one. The second one is pretty. The second one is poetic. But the first one is that not just me? Is that not literally just me doing my best at a failed Uriange impression? <laughs> I feel like I have to go with the first one. For a time, at least. 
Nevertheless, twas worth the journey to find present company well. Will thou attend us at the forum and lend thine own wisdom? I'm putting way. If I cannot with settled, her. Can we start moving before Urianger catches his death? Even I'm freezing out here. And who told you to wear booty shorts, Missy? Oh, I dare say you'll warm up quickly once you're aboard the airship. Sat shoulder to shoulder with our fur-covered friends. <laughs> That's their job now, to keep us warm. That <laughs> massive portion, he's like... Alright, what is the next step in this quest? Because I think we're going to call it here, chat. Here, sorry, I don't think I've ever heard. Do you remember what you expected from this game when you first started all the way back in A Realm Reborn? Um, that is a good question. I don't know what I expected. I really don't. I never really knew where this game was going. I always kind of felt like there... Okay. So I always was under the assumption that everything with like Dalamud and, and what have you, I always thought that would be... A reoccurring theme like the world ending and I always thought like saving the nations like the smaller nations and and countries and what have you would all play a bigger part later on but I did I never really knew where this game would go and oh we got some ads running can we get a command ad in the chat um, yeah I never really knew where the game would go with that theme uh, but I knew I would get hooked. I was told that the story gets emotional, it gets gripping, and a lot of really well-written characters that you'll care about, like, appear. Um, and even though the game is very long and each expansion is very different because they, like... Oh, yeah, we got Santa over here? Um, because they, like... Oh, am I getting head pads? Oh, I'm getting a hello... Oh, Jesus Targaryen. Jesus Targaryen is giving me a mount. They giving me the zoo horn. I'll I'm gonna give you some Swede for twenty. Thank you. I I appreciate it. I appreciate it, Jesus Targaryen. Um, but yeah, I I didn't really like know what to um uh, Yeah, no, hold on. What is <gasps> I get pudding! Thank you for the pu I get pudding and hot chocolate, thank you. I'll take the pudding and the oh we're not done. How come you don't use the expand expanded inventory option because it hurts my head? <gasps> I was gonna add you. Um here, let me go into full screen for this. I'm gonna like lose uh, my train of thought. But yeah, I didn't really know what to anticipate with the game. I knew that I would be sucked into it, but I did not know how. I did not know how this game would like hold up in terms of like longevity, I guess. Um, but like that being said, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. That, that's it's a really tough question to answer, and, and it or, it's harder to answer because I'm really tired. Um, fuck. I don't. I don't know. I. I don't know how to answer it. I did not. I didn't know what to expect. I truly did not know what to expect. Uh, playing a realm reborn, I knew that I'd be saving the world in more than one way. I just didn't know like the grand scale of it all. Does that make sense? I didn't know what route this game would take. If it would be like purely like militia based or you know I didn't know we do like time travel and, and going into space and, and like all these different themes I never knew that that would be incorporated into the narrative so this game has pleasantly surprised me more than once um, because like when we were in Heaven's War and even Stormblood I was like okay like this makes sense um heaven's ward made the most sense to me because it was very um uh like high fantasy gothic medieval um which is my fa one of my favorite um uh tropes and no, not trope but themes in fantasy um so i was pleasantly surprised i was very happy and i honestly expected more of the game to be like that 
And then in Stormblood, I, you know, it went the more like East Asian fantasy route, which I also expected, you know? I also anticipated a lot of East Asian inspired content in this game, but I thought it would only be those two. I thought it would only be, it would be limited to that. But now we got like bits of sci-fi, we got bits, bits of like a mythology, like different kinds of mythos from different places in the world. Like it is so large. The game tackles so many different um, fantasy narrative tropes and themes that I just didn't anticipate. Which is what keeps me, you know, which is what makes me keep playing this game. Because I don't have to go play a hundred different Assassin's Creed games. I, 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 I get it all in one game. You know what I mean? Like, I get, I get to do all these different things in one game. All of these different maps, all of these different realms. It's, it's really nice. Um, but, yeah, it's, it's really cool. And, and I love it. I did not expect it to be this, um... I just didn't expect it to be this grand, honestly. I'm gonna be right back, chat. I have to go pee, and then, um, I'll let y'all know how I feel. But there is a good chance it is sleepy time for me. I will be right back. Don't go anywhere. See you in a second. Oh, oh yeah, we have words. I don't know if it's connected. I'm gonna take it off. But yeah. <laughs>
Oh, okay. Hello. Hello, hello. All right, let me catch up the chat. What do y'all say? Um, yeah, aren't I a, a character in a video game? I was um, one of the models used um, in the creation of Dina in The Last of Us 2. So I'm not like in the video game, but like I'm in it kind of indirectly, which is really cool. Um, yeah, they aren't afraid to pull from anything and incorporate it in their own way, but you can recognize what it's coming from. Yeah, and I think that's really cool. Like you can identify the different like real world um nations and stuff that inspired certain areas and certain dungeons and stuff and i love it i love that like when we first got to thavnir i don't know if i don't know how many of y'all were here for that stream um but i cried i don't really get to see you know south asia and like the middle east like represented so beautifully and so at least what feels like so authentically in a high fantasy setting i i like remember i remember in stormblood when we had to fight lakshmi i was very disappointed because she is white i don't know why they made this like hindu god lakshmi a white woman with brown hair it really disappointed me so then coming to thavnir and and seeing like raza han all of it was just you know they really upped it. They really fixed where they fucked up. And I have so much appreciation for that. I think that's also what like keeps me going with this game. Because you can see you can see the way that the team has improved the more that you play. Fuck, this shirt picks up so much dog hair, I'm so sorry. They aren't afraid of putting you and their characters into and through very real feeling, physical, and emotional issues, and I think they can do them all quite well. Not all the games are willing to take it that far, even though it isn't all that graphic in this game. Yeah, I mean, this game, this game isn't graphic per se in some of the cutscenes, but um, oh my goodness, it's not it's not graphic per se, but it's traumatizing. And it is really nice that they give you, the player, closure. At the end of the day, they always give you closure, which is really nice. They don't put you through something super traumatic and then go, okay, well, there you go. Good luck with that. Everything has some, some conclusion, you know? And, and I, I like that. I really do. I think that's another thing that makes the game feel good because sometimes like you play a game or you watch a movie and it's sad, it's dramatic, you know, whatever. Um, and as much as I enjoy like a good traumatizing game and a traumatizing movie and stuff, I want, I want it to feel fulfilling. I want my main character to have some form of resolution, you know? And this game does that. This game gives it to you. Who knew closure was important? Who who knew? Did y'all see the uh, Scott Pilgrim series? It's so fucking good. I just finished binging it. I binged it last night, and it was very very good. And my biggest like takeaway from that was closure is important. Closure and apologizing and stuff like that is so so important. I loved it. I feel like it was such a great way of like also wrapping up the big flaws that were in the Scott Pilgrim comics and original movie. I returned having cleared the criterion. Congratulations, Elle. Hello, hello, welcome back. Hello. I'm currently debating whether I am hopping off or staying on because I am so tired. I am so, so, so sleepy. I think I am gonna hop off. We have a fucking fire view count right now, but unfortunately, I'm just, I'm so dead. I'm really, really tired. I wanted to stream longer, but I unfortunately don't think I can. Um, and tomorrow we're gonna have a huge Endwalker stream. I'm gonna try to go live at around 6 or 7 p.m. And we're gonna go until like 1 a.m. Like we're gonna binge as much of the narrative as we can. It gets a bit chunky next. This is a good stopping point. Great. Cool. 
Well, honestly, I'm cool with this too. Like we did a little, we did some some fun little battles as Alfino and Alize. We got some good like narrative beats in there. Yeah, I mean, honestly, yeah, I think that worked out. I think that really did. I think you know, ending it where we did last week and then coming back. I th I, th I think we're we you know rowing the boat pretty well. But yeah, yeah, that was that was a great duty. But your girl needs to decompress now. I'm very excited for tomorrow and I really hope to see the rest of you tomorrow as well for the stream. I have a very good feeling we're going to be finishing Endwalker. Not tomorrow, but if I'm able, if I'm able to do a late night Saturday stream, we may be able to finish it. I think maybe Wednesday or Thursday we'll be done Endwalker. We have maybe like three streams left. I cannot believe it, but we are going to binge the fuck out of this game. So I better see y'all, okay? You're gonna cheer me on. I better see y'all in game. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be fun. Thank you everybody for hanging out with me and thank you for all the gifted subs and all the love you've been giving me. I hope I didn't miss any alerts. Let me double check. Oh, Echo Blaze, thank you for the two month resub and Castalto, thank you for the prime sub. I appreciate it. Don't forget to join the Discord server and follow me on social media that we can stay up to date with all of my shenanigans. I will be live at 7 p.m. Eastern at most. If not 7 p.m., it'll be 6 p.m. So in between there, okay? All right. Bye, friends. Take care. Wait. We should raid somebody. Who are we going to raid? Who are we raiding? Let's see. Who's live? Let's see. Who do we go say hi to? Hmm. <gasps> Let's go say hi to Grandma. Let's go say hi to Grandma. Grandma's fucking great. Grandma's a cutie patootie. And we actually recently got her into Final Fantasy XIV. So you know what? She may be playing Overwatch, but that's okay. We can bully her into streaming FF14. Bye, friends!